Caster is the measure of how far forward or behind the steering axis is to the vertical axis viewed from the side of the car. If you was to draw a line going through the front leg of your car and then compare that to a line which is dead vertical, then the angle created when these lines are crossed over each other gives you the angle of caster. And like all alignment settings, the caster is measured in degrees. If you was to extend the line through your front leg and it finished in front of the vertical line, then this is positive caster. If, however, your front leg was angled the opposite way and the line extended to a point behind the front wheel, this would be negative caster. But caster isn't actually determined by the angle of your front leg. That's just a simple way of seeing it in a car. For example, on a caster wheel on the bottom of an office chair, for instance, the actual angle of the suspension leg, if you like, is vertical. But because it's in front of the wheel, if you was to extend a line through it, it would extend to a point in front of the wheel. That's why when you push an office chair across the floor, the wheel automatically drags behind. So a caster on an office chair has extreme positive caster. That's why we use the word caster when we're discussing this particular alignment setting on your car. Now, caster is great for things like drifting because it improves the self-steering characteristics of the car. So when you're transitioning from one drift to another, you can let go of the steering wheel and it sort of steers itself better. You can actually dial in your caster by adjusting the top mounts. If you've got adjustable top mounts that move back and forward, if you move your front legs backwards, that's going to increase caster. And if you move your front legs forwards, that's going to decrease caster. Now the other way that you can adjust caster is to adjust the bottom of your suspension, bring it forward or backwards, essentially pull the front wheels of your car forward or backwards. If you bring your front wheels forward, that's going to do exactly the same as bringing your top suspension mount backwards, that will increase caster, and if you were to move your front wheels backwards in the arch, that's going to do the same as bringing your top mount forward, which will decrease caster. These clips are are actually taken from another video on my channel where I did a modification to the anti-roll bar mounting to bring the front wheels forward to improve caster. Some cars have caster adjustment, but my old banger Ford Escort doesn't. Do check out this video to um, find out exactly how I did that. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd put this video together as like a tech tips for what is caster. If this is the first video that you've stumbled across on my channel, feel free to click subscribe to follow my life with my cars. But yeah, I hope this little explanation about caster has been informative and massive thanks to everyone who has tuned into this video.